Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the import error DLL load failed. The specified module could not be found. Error message you're reading in a command line window. So generally this has to do with an issue with the libraries in the Microsoft Visual C++ Studio and it being incompatible with the application that is attempting to be installed. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to suggest would be just to do a system file check for utility scan, which I will highlight in this tutorial. A secondary method could be attempting to download the MSVCP140 DLL file. Now, if you want to search my channel for that tutorial, I've made at least one or two tutorials on that in the past. You might want to go ahead and actually download and install or insert that file into your System32 directory. But that would be a different tutorial for a different day, so just something to keep in mind. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into the other options here. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best match to come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And then you want to go ahead and type in SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once it has concluded, close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. Once you're back into Windows, you want to go ahead and open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, so come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to go and select apps on the left panel here. And on the right side underneath apps, select installed apps. And search apps field, go ahead and type in visual. Best match, to come back with visual C++. Go ahead and select the three dotted icon next to it and select modify. Select yes if you receive user account control prompt. Again, if you have multiple items in here, you'll do it for each of them individually. So we're going to go ahead for the first item in here and select the repair option and give that a moment. And then we're going to select close because we're going to do the same thing for the second item in here. And we're going to repair that one as well. And then once it's done, close out of here. And we do want to restart our computer at this time. If you do not have Visual C++ in your apps, you want to go ahead onto Google, search for Microsoft Visual C++, into Google, and then go onto Microsoft's web page and download and install it. But most of you guys should actually have it already installed on your system. So hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.